you are aware of spectra uh, from old period in history we are aware that uh, if white radiation is passed through prism in particular angle then we are getting seven colors that is called as spectrum basically but later on various radiations are uh, discovered right from gamma rays x rays ultraviolet rays infrared rays cathode rays then alpha beta like that various and laser all these radiations are discovered and therefore we have to find out some connection some chronology something between these all radiation so we can consider them as increasing energy radiation so we are arranging them in increasing radiation uh, increasing energy radiation or that is called as increasing energy electromagnetic radiation okay first or more precise i can say increasing wavelength uh or i can arrange according to increasing frequency now you are aware wavelength and frequency they are inversely proportional as wavelength is more frequency is less and vice versa and therefore i am assigning all these radiations here uh, in this particular graph we can check either by increasing energy or by increasing frequency or by increasing wavelength i am writing here also lambda lambda denotes wavelength so here we can check out this is a uh, radio wave from radio wave to gamma rays there is increasing energy there is increasing uh, frequency whereas uh, from gamma rays to radio wave there is increasing wavelength don't say decreasing wavelength we have to say it is increasing wavelength now here uh, this is we are actually calling something this frequency the symbol is nu uh, greek letter so that is called as nu so uh, this we are calling as spectra now i am explaining on basis of increasing wavelength so smallest wavelength is supposed to be for cosmic radiations but cosmic radiations are shown here in dotted because uh, much study about them is not yet there and so uh, hypothetically we are placing here about gamma rays from gamma rays we are aware to the greater extent gamma rays are having shortest wavelength in the known radiation detectable radiation okay uh, you may ask me question why i am saying that gamma rays are having shortest wavelength in detectable radiation because uh, our instruments are able to detect wavelength of gamma rays in that range there are some equations uh, for example de broglie equation or uh, for uh, in higher physics we are considering every particle is having wavelength and in that case dual nature of matter something like that concepts are there their wavelength can be smaller but here uh, the smallest wavelength is there in the instrumental measurement according to my knowledge that is gamma rays then x rays then vacuum ultraviolet then ultraviolet then onwards visible so till ultraviolet radiations are not visible in many television advertisement you must have seen that they are showing ultraviolet radiation and they are showing violet color because they have to show something but ultraviolet radiations are invisible can you determine ultraviolet radiations are present in room or not answer is yes you can determine very easily uh, only little bit thing you should have that is anything which is having fluorescent color uh, like we are saying highlighter marker like that uh, fluorescent colors are there so uh, or now bags are having fluorescent color compost box and whatever if fluorescent color object is there and that is appearing bright that means there is presence of ultraviolet if ultraviolet light is not there then fluorescent color will not appear as fluorescent simple test so these are invisible from that 
violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange and red. This range is only visible. See only this uh, part of radiations we can see, rest of the things we can't see. Then onwards infrared, far infrared, microwave and radio wave. So they are also invisible radiations. But usually we are calling the, these radiations as low energy, radi uh, low energy radiation or uh, they are also called as low frequency radiation. So these are the radiations or spectra. This is first part. Now we are going to discuss second part that is uh, how they are produced. And third part how uh, we are utilizing. I uh, am combining second and third part. So you are aware of gamma rays. Gamma rays are produced on earth with help of radioactive elements. You are aware that uh, uranium, radium, like that naturally occurring radioactive elements are there. They are producing out gamma rays. Those of having science background they can understand it very easily that after emission of alpha or beta particle there is lot of energy in the nucleus that is considered as recoil energy. Try to apply Newton's second law of motion. So uh, there is a second and third law also. So there is lot of recoil energy in the nucleus that is emitted that is very high energy and therefore it is emitted in form of radiation. That's why gamma rays are having very high radiation uh, sorry high energy or very very low wavelength. Its wavelength is in range of 0.1 angstrom to approximately 10 angstrom. Again, uh, we are using scientific terms and uh, my request is there that if you are observing this video, try to observe our, our other videos, particularly basics of physics. This video, try to observe on the same channel, you will get this basics of physics or uh, I will recommend you to go through the description list. In the description, you will get one link that is our blogspot page link that is there blogspot of Savarkar I study circle only where you will get these lectures arranged sequential. So uh, just go through our description uh, then you will get idea. So I am using here terminology. So gamma rays they are of range that is 0.1 angstrom to 10 angstrom approximate. Angstrom is 10 raised to minus 10 meter. That distance is there that is called as angstrom. So uh, atomic size for your comparison let me clear that atomic sizes are in range of 1 angstrom and interatomic distances they are in range of more than 1 angstrom usually and therefore gamma rays can pass through them very easily because they are narrower if 0.1 angstrom is the range of uh, uh, wavelength of the gamma rays then they can pass through the atoms of the crystal and therefore gamma rays possess highest uh, penetrating power so highest penetrating power is there for gamma rays how they are produced on earth we are getting gamma rays from uh, radioactive elements maybe uh, naturally occurring radioactive element or synthetically prepared radioactive element. For example, uh, you are aware that carbon can be radioactive, sodium can be radioactive, even hydrogen, you are aware that name tritium. So like that, hydrogen isotope is also radioactive. So from that, we can able to get gamma rays on earth. But in the space, very good gamma ray source is there vicinity of earth and that is the moon. In Sanskrit literature always they are mentioning out that moonlight is very cold. Chandra Prakash Sheetalaha. No. It is not at all cold though it appears on earth because it produces tremendous gamma rays. But gamma rays possess very less uh, we can say range because once they are entering in atmosphere they possess very high energy therefore getting absorbed to very great extent by atmosphere and therefore uh, 
hardly 10 to 12 centimeter range is there for gamma rays and that's why on earth we are not receiving gamma rays from moon but if you are going in the outer space then we can observe or uh, experience the presence of gamma rays that's why if you are aware that the astronauts they wear a special type of suit that is to get protected from this type of gamma rays very good source of gamma rays is moon then sun and then distant stars which we are not able to observe but they are able to emit gamma rays like that also various stars are there so that is the source of gamma rays now gamma rays are used widely for cancerous treatment particularly inside our body if tumor is there then that can be burned properly by focusing gamma rays over that part because gamma rays are having very high penetrating power even they can penetrate through our bones and that's why wide use of gamma rays is uh, in the treatment of cancer that is called as radiotherapy another use of gamma rays that is there to sterilize various instruments you are aware that disposable needles disposable syringe they are there they are sterilized with help of gamma rays again if you are exposing out potatoes to gamma rays then sprouting will not be there whereas if you are exposing out uh, dicotyledon seeds like pea or something like that then that dicotyledon seeds uh, that uh, dicotyledon seeds if you are exposing to mild gamma rays not strong very mild gamma rays if you are exposing then we can get yield 10 uh, percent more than the expected so these are the uses of gamma rays now next x-rays x-rays are produced on earth uh, with help of x-ray tube that is uh, the radiations discovered by Wilhelm Conard, I can't pronounce Wilhelm Conard, but uh, if I want to pronounce as spelling, then round game. But I heard that German pronunciation is there that is Ronchen, but spell wise, round game. Uh, maybe possible that's why he might have said that don't give my name to the radiation because people were insisting him to give his, uh, his name to radiation. But he said it is X-ray. First name he suggested that is X-ray. There are variety of X-rays uh, according to increasing or decreasing energy. X-rays are produced by his X-ray tube. Now variety of X-ray tubes are also developed. But again in the space, moon, sun and various distant stellar bodies, they are also producing very good quality of X-rays. But again same criteria. X-rays are having very less range, hardly 18 inches is the range and even if you are using old color television, particularly that is CRT television, old day you have uh, remember that uh, the telephone, uh, that uh, television screen was not a perfectly flat and at back side it was extending out that is because of CRT. If that old television set we are using, there is a coil in that television set that is called as EHT, extra high tension coil. So that is also, uh, that may also produce because extra high tension will go to extra extra high tension and then it will, as it is getting older and then it may produce X-rays and that's why it is recommended that if you are using old color television, particularly CRT television, then you should not sit. Uh, in range of 1.5 feet from the television you have to sit away 1.5 feet because range of x-rays is that much now x-rays are used as you are aware it is used for uh, medical investigation carrying out x-ray photography for that in uh, molding and all that also they are using gamma rays are also used for that x-rays are also used for that and uh, in the space science they are widely used because we have various telescopes out of that one you are aware that is Chandra X-ray Observatory this is on behalf of Indian scientist Indian origin scientist Chandra Shekhar on behalf of that uh, NASA has given name to its X-ray observatory at Chandra X-ray observatory uh, that uh, Chandra Shekhar is famous the great uh, 
uh, Indian origin American scientist named as Chandrasekhar is famous for uh, Chandra limit. That means uh, when a star, which star can be converted into black hole or not converted into black hole after the death. So that is called as like Chandra limit. Then uh, Chandra X-ray observatory. Now another X-ray observatory is sent that is uh, in the name of ancient or comparatively old age uh, person in astrophysics that is named as Kepler who suggested that orbits of planets around the sun are elliptical. So in the space X-ray telescopes are there. Then vacuum ultraviolet and ultraviolet I am taking combinedly. Uh, ultraviolet radiations are beyond violet so we are calling them ultraviolet. Vacuum ultraviolet can be absorbed in atmosphere very easily in early parts of atmosphere but ultraviolet radiations can reach to surface. In fact, they are reaching to surface. Even in diffused sunlight, you are aware of the meaning diffused sunlight. Diffuse means uh, the sunlight which is not coming directly. Whatever the reflected, reflected one that is coming into your room. Uh, if not direct sunlight is coming but in room, without tube light or without any electrical bulb, room is having light that is called as diffuse sunlight that is also possessing out ultraviolet radiations. Uh, TV advertisement or little bit knowledge of science may consider that ultraviolets are harmful. No, ultraviolets are essential. All ultraviolets are not harmful. Some of the ultraviolet radiations are harmful but they are absorbed in the stratosphere part that is uh, by ozone layer. So they are absorbed. But all ultraviolet radiations are not harmful. In fact, some ultraviolet radiations are really essential because they are able to produce vitamin D under our skin. And that's why please keep in mind that don't get run away from the sunlight. Try to be in the sun, particularly morning sunlight if preferable till sun will be there at 15 degree. That is the best uh, sunlight we can get for vitamin D. Uh, in the cities, particularly in urban life, where in the cities very tall buildings are there, we are having this problem. That is, we are not getting proper uh, sunlight or 15 degree sunlight and therefore D vitamin deficiency is the biggest problem in the urban life. So don't try to run away from sunlight, try to be in the sunlight. So that is ultraviolet. Uh, now, Ultraviolet radiations are produced on earth as sunlight is very good source. Even LEDs are also very good source of ultraviolet radiation. In old days when LEDs were not there at that time we were using hydrogen lamp. Those who are science students they can understand that hydrogen is giving variety of spectra. Label series, Bauman series, Pascal series like that various series are there. Out of that one series in ultraviolet radiation. So that's why hydrogen lamp was used for uh, ultraviolet light production on earth in the space almost all those who are emitting light they are producing ultraviolet light also then visible these radiations are visible violet indigo blue or a green yellow orange red they are all visible radiation with permutation and combination of these we can able to observe millions of curves okay so only this much part we are able to see. But there are wild animals or some domestic animals also. They can see in range of infrared. Infra is below. Below red. Therefore it is called as infrared. Infrared radiations or rather we should call them as heat radiation also. Every hot body, keep in mind, uh, if temperature is minus 273 degrees Celsius. Actual reading is something different. 0.14 and something big unit is there. But for general purpose we can consider minus 273 degrees Celsius. So if temperature is minus 273 degrees Celsius then only infrared radiations are not emitted. Otherwise uh, every body is tend to emit infrared radiation. So in thermal cameras we are using infrared radiation only. Daytime land is heated when we are cutting out source that means at night time but land is hot it is continuously emitting out radiations they are infrared radiations 
infrared radiations are absorbed by certain gases to very great extent that is particularly carbon dioxide water vapors and methane and that's why we are calling them as greenhouse gases but uh, uh, observe other lecture on this same channel about greenhouse effect so this is visible light when infrared in case of infrared every hot body that is producing out infrared radiation so no special thing is required but usually induction coils are there they are producing out infrared certain infrared bulbs are there leds are also emitting out infrared radiations uh, in the space spitzer is name of telescope that is covering out infrared vision uh, of the spectra then hubble telescope is there that is also working in infrared little bit ultraviolet and visible radiation so all these telescopes are there in space then far infrared that is infrared only but uh, very below then microwave you must have aware about this because of microwave ovens the name of tube is klistron tube that is producing out these microwaves so intense microwaves are used for heating purpose in microwave oven the peculiarity that microwaves are strongly absorbed by water and therefore the objects which are having water molecules they get heated quickly than objects not having water molecules so for example there is paper dish on paper dish if you are placing out a potato and placing in microwave oven then potato getting hot but paper dish will not getting hot that much the reason is that paper dish is having very less amount of water whereas potato is possessing good amount of water and so the microwaves are absorbed strongly by the water molecule and therefore potato is getting heated microwaves are used for even telecommunication purpose particularly defense services and all these related matter their communication is based on microwave then uh, radio wave you are aware variety of radio waves are there their wavelengths are in range of meters say here we have started with angstrom 10 raised to minus 10 meter and here we have 500 meter and like that ranges are there radio waves possess very less energy and therefore can penetrate to atmosphere very easily without losing and that's why radio wave telescopes are placed on the land one such telescope very huge telescope is there in the pune district of maharashtra near narayan gaon now these radio waves are uh, used for telecommunication radio services and all that you are aware these radio waves are reflected back by upper part of atmosphere that is called as ionosphere ion ionosphere okay so from that it is reflected back and that's why certain short wave category of radio wave are used for telecommunication or radio transmission that's why those uh, now uh, days are change but uh, try to get back in the era of 1990s and today also some of the enthusiastic person they might have uh, aware about this at that time the radios radio set actually that was coming as short wave one short wave two four band radio the microwave short wave one short wave two short wave three like that so uh, at that time we were able to listen various distant radio stations particularly at evening time after sunset we are getting variety of radio stations at that time we have to tune radio properly and try to listen but we will never able to hear uh, because i am at the most aware of english language uh, distant languages variety of languages Uh, radio stations were there, and we were not able to recognize them. But just imagine, uh, somewhere in the era of 1940s, if you are tuning out your radio, you are listening something Russian and something like that languages. We are not able to distinguish them. And all of a sudden, if you start listening Hindi, then what were your feelings? Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose was there in Germany, and from German radio. he started delivering speech that is because of short waves we were able to listen them okay so this is all uh, category we are categorized as radio wave so these things we are going to discuss we have discussed this all thing we are calling as spectra okay uh, here 
we are not able to discuss you might have asked question you if your doubts are there please try to report in comment but before that i want to explain another thing in this list we are not included cathode rays beta rays alpha rays and laser because cathode beta and alpha they are not pure electromagnetic radiation they are particles and we are considering only electromagnetic radiation and therefore they have not discussed another thing is that when we are talking of lasers uh, little bit science uh, again same tip go to description observe this link their radiations are explained here i am explaining briefly so these are the waves this is called as crest and this is called as trough this is mean position the maximum displacement from mean position is called as amplitude of the wave whereas wavelength is one crest and one trough so this distance we are calling as wavelength so this chart is placed according to wavelength whereas in case of laser the amplitude is increased that means we are having this type of wave i should call this as laser so wavelength is same and we are place everywhere wavelength line therefore lasers are not included here for every radiation we may have laser in case of microwave the first laser was developed for by using microwave but it was not called as laser it was called as maser all right so uh, if you have any doubt try to write in comment we will try to answer if our knowledge is there thanks